Good morning everybody, this is John at Millennium Helicopters. Today we're going to talk about how we do our transmissions here. Okay, first we're going to look, we're going to start at the bottom where the uh, uh, oil comes out. <coughs> I'm trying to snake that camera up in there where you can see. Okay, this is the original hole for the chip detector. It has been retapped and we come in here and the chip detector has been in there. This is machined down shorter so you can so that the magnet is in the flow of oil and it comes down here <coughs> flows on down here to the engine gear pump and that is a gear driven pump comes out this side comes over here and comes up through this filter and wires off and goes into the top for the top bearing goes into the center for the pinion <coughs> On the near versions that we're doing, we're coming out on the opposite side with a vent and out at the bottom down here on the bottom back into the sight glass tube for a drain. That's the way all the rest of them are going to be done. I'll show you that on some blank uh, transmission housings over here that belong to Jesse Clark. So that's a, that's a look at the way it's done and then I'll show you the, how it's ported over here. So. Also, by the way, if you want an oil cooler, it will be down here. Wherever you want it, you can plumb an oil cooler in, which I plan on doing very soon for the hotter days. Okay, here's the bottom transmission housing. And as you can see, we've drilled it and tapped it for tabs to hold the seal in. That's been retapped to a bigger size to from a, from a uh, standard thread to a pipe tap to a pipe thread. And then this is the drain I was talking about right here. And of course, this has been drilled for the four pins for the pinion and the one for the front. Got the mass support upgrade done up here. Now on the upper, you can see that it's ported. It's a certain size hole to allow a certain amount of air through there, or oil through there with our pump. This is the inlet hole. You can see it's a smaller hole up in there. I hope this is all turning out good on camera. And then over here on the opposite side is a return. Now, as you can tell, the holes are just drilled just above the bearing, but below the seal flange. In fact, I actually notched the seals a little bit so that they can drain out. And then, of course, it's drilled for the retainer here, for the seal retainer. And Rick's sending me some pictures. I'll include these in this video here after a while of uh, the new plumbing, uh, the way it's with the with the vent tubes and the, all that going back into the sight glass here. And uh, I'll put some of those pictures up on the tra trailing end of the video so you can see that, but the holes are all the same, so it doesn't matter. As long as you can get oil up to that bearing, that's all we need. Pinion, not necessarily have to be done, but it's nice to have that extra oil in there and know that it's getting it, so that back bearing, you know. It's back there, so, but anyway. Okay, let's talk about uh, ring and pinion gear heat treat process. Process is just basically they carburize the teeth to the, to the correct hardness. And as you can see, this thing has been painted. They, they paint this green stuff on there. And uh, it kind of reminds me of that stuff that comes on a brand new end mill that you, they dip it in there, you know, whatever it's called. But anyway, they paint it off and they carburize the gear teeth. You can see how they've. Uh, just done the teeth and everything else is still nasty. I have not cleaned these up yet. This is exactly how they come back from heat treat. And uh, they look like, uh, kind of look like rust, but it's not. It's just that stuff burn on the shaft. Clean it up with Scotch Brite, all the gear teeth, uh, front pinion support. Be nice to have a front pinion support on here, but we don't, so we have to live with it. It is what it is, but uh, all the newest transmissions that we're going to be dealing with, they'll all have a pinion support on them, so we won't have these problems anymore. But anyway, that's pretty much all there is. Uh, thank you. Have a good day.